Welcome back to another Secrets of the Pros. I'm your host on behalf of the Department of Youth Services, Andrew Rayburn. And uh, today we're going to talk about mixing guitars. It's a quick tutorial. And I want to show you guys um, how we balance a guitar, give guitar its own space along with the vocals. So I basically have um, acoustic guitar plug in here and I have uh, running out of contact uh, ethera and um, this is a track uh, that I made so let me play the track and you will hear uh, what I have so far you can hear everything is balanced and you can hear even the the softest notes is cutting through the mix uh, so uh, this is what I want to share with you guys so let's get down to the bottom of it um, I'm gonna show you what I did here and don't pay attention to the amount of tracks here's my mix bus um, nothing is coming out of it as yet now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off all the inserts, all the sends, and show you quickly how the power of EQ and uh, correct um, routing, we can get our guitars and our vocals to blend uh, just right. So first of all, I'm going to run it through the console shaper. I'm going to play uh, the raw guitar. Let's play it. One tip, guys. Um, usually, majority of the time when you use uh, acoustic guitars uh, like this one here, it comes with its own built-in built effects. So I'm using the compressor and a little bit of equalizer and the reverb. Let's tweak it a bit uh, to give it an extra um, color, you can see. Let's play the guitar. Turn off the guitar, um, reverb, compressor off. Notice the guitar has gotten nasal, you know, it's like it's in a phone. You turn on EQ, compressor, so we can get some, some bite out of it. Here I have it in a studio setting. If I want, I could have switched to a large hall. But I already have my own hall, so I'm going to leave it in the studio to give it its space. So give it some vibe. So. Remember guys, um, in everything there's a sweet spot in frequencies, so I, I went ahead and used um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 plugins along with 1, 2, 3, 4 cents just to give this guitar some atmosphere. Um, I only have a guitar and a vocal in this mix, so I wanted the guitar to take up all the space. Uh, you know, the, the stereo spectrum and all sort of vocals to cut through with a nice wide field. So here I'm um, rolling off a little bit of 59 kilohertz. And, um, I'm boosting. No, I'm not boosting. I'm cutting a little bit of uh, uh, below 8K. Probably the 800 mid-range area. I'm cutting a little bit of uh, 6k as well taking out some little uh, resonance so let's turn it on let me bring
doing this though. Let me boost this to show what I'm taking out. I think that goes through that resonance right there. I'm cutting that out. I'm also cutting a little bit of the high mids. Pang pang my parts here. Before, after. So it brings the guitar a little bit more closer to you by just cutting uh, these frequency. Now I'm using my ears, guys. There's no set rule how to EQ. I'm in analog mode, so I'm moving on um, to the channel strip. I love this channel strip. I love the color that it adds. Let's play the guitar. Rolling off um, about 82. And I'm cutting a little bit of um, below 1K area. Half and bring it more closer to the listener as well. Here's what they sound like before, after. I'm adding some gentle compression here. Since a guitar has dynamics, you know, certain notes goes up and down. The compressor on the SSL channel strip is controlling that. Now I'm moving on to my next EQ, which I'm matching out some more resonance, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. That right there I'm taking out. Well, I don't want to take out too much to change the song of the guitar, right? That also I'm taking out. That too. This guitar song is very nice, but it has a lot of resonance, and that's what I'm taking out. Also 512. I'm boosting a little bit of 11k. Which brings me to my next EQ. Boosting a little bit at 109 for some width, uh, um, some body. 236, let's turn it on. Subtle, gentle, but big difference. Also, guys, here's a secret tip of the pros. If your guitar sounds a little bit harsh, like a little bit too much biting on the high frets, like... Let me see if I can bring up my um bring bring up my controller here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. The high bites. Like that right there. I use a de -er to knock that down. So I'm getting it clear, but I'm not getting it too um all in my face. So that's what the de -er is doing. And I'm adding some ozone just to get wet. Now we have the guitar um, in our studio room, which is right here. Now I want to send it uh, to my reverb, which I'm going to show you very quickly. Here it is. I'm rolling off a little bit of low end. Let's roll off a little bit more. About 251k. I'm leaving the high top because I want the the sweetness of the reverb that the high end. And I'm gonna send the guitar through that. You can hear the difference. If I wanted, I could take out a little bit of high end. So I'm going to send the signal uh, through this doubler with the direct signal off, giving it even more width. Guitar is close. Guitar is on at the back. And also another plate. A plate delay. And here 
here's the last ingredient to um, adding effects to the guitar. I've used a gate comp with a picture, uh, a pitch and tone plugin on it, phaser and some delay, running it through the guitar stomp six, and this is what this sounds like. <coughs> It just allows the guitar to feel more stereo with I don't know if you can notice the difference. So I have that there and now I'm gonna go to Gaia which um let me play her vocal. Gaia is a it is a high high tone vocal so what I'm doing here parallel compressing what I have on uh, Gaia's voice. This is like a cinematic movie <laughs> uh, vocal effects. The first thing I, I did with um, Gaia's vocal, let me run it again. I send it through a parallel compression through a 1176 blue stripe. See if I let's see if it's on um, the verse is gonna kick in. On, off. So I have some more body on her vocal. EQ off, her voice gets a little bit soft. So I'm cutting some low end and boosting some high end. And the compressor, of course, is controlling the high peaks. So let's bring the guitar in. And of course, send it to a reverb, effects and delay. There's a big difference. Reverb off. On. And just as a finishing touch, um, it's running through the console shaper. And I'm going to add a little bit of BX Digital here, which is one of my favorite uh, plugins. I'm going to widen the sides a bit. I'm going to roll off maybe a little bit of 24. Roll off over here, play it back. There you have it, the vocal cutting through nice. You can hear uh, the atmosphere and the space we're creating with the guitars, like more than one guitars. Um, like how we have uh, the effects routed with the plates and, and the guitar pedal. And also along with Gaia's voice, we're spreading her voice. So I just want to show you guys um, the creative ideas, how, how you can mix acoustic guitar. If I want, I could have made the guitar song acoustic, um, dry. Then her voice will still cut through. Let's take a listen to that. Mm -hmm. 
So um, tune in to DYS Recording Studios in YouTube, guys, and lock in. Let us know uh, what you would like for us to show next and what you, what you want to talk on, on mixing. Um, big up all the Belizean artists and all the ones rising up and the youths. Support the youths as well. DYS is a studio for youths. Um, we record them free as long as they're between the ages 15 to 29. Uh, as long as they have uh, positive lyrics, uh, we can record dance or whatever genre they want. So we'll catch you on the next one and be sure to email us at dysstudio.producer at gmail.com. That's dysstudio.producer at gmail.com. Take care, guys.